The category of voltage can be split into two subcategories: potential difference and EMF. EMF is acronym for electromotive force, although it isn't actually a force. So, what is the difference between EMF and potential difference? Here's a simple circuit with a cell and a light bulb. Let's imagine this to be an electron. Electrons in the circuit go from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. The conventional current goes from the positive side to the negative side. So in this video, we will use the conventional current when we consider the direction of current. A cell or a battery is a store of chemical energy. As an electron travels through the cell, the cell gives up a tiny bit of this chemical energy. I'm going to represent this energy using this bit of Lego. You can also think of this electron transferring the chemical energy from the cell along the circuit. The energy transfer from the cell to the electron is from chemical energy to electrical energy. When the electron passes through the light bulb, the electron gives up its energy to the bulb. This energy transfer is from electrical to light and thermal energy. So when we talk about EMF, that is the energy supplied to a unit of charge by a source. And in this process, the energy transfer is from other types of energy into electrical energy. But when we refer to potential difference, that's the energy dissipated by a unit of charge when it goes through a component. So the process of energy transfer here is from electrical energy to other types of energy. So you can think of cells, batteries, and any other power sources as having EMF. But components like resistors, light bulbs, LEDs, and speakers, they will have a potential difference across them.